This thing is just eventing after eventing after event. What the frick? Alright, today I'm going to do some solo recording of Phasmophobia. Change back to Dead Inside Guy. Sunny Meadows. Doing Modified Nightmare. Uh, I've got a video on it explaining how the rules work. No, I've never had the ghost spawn in the chapel before. Oh, are those the only two cams? Huh. Yeah, I say modified nightmare, but it's really just professional with the ghost switching rooms a lot. EMF photo parabolic. Tim White, are you here? Looks like I got the basement then because the power box isn't on the wall. Tim White? Tim White, are you here? Tim White, are you here? Did I see my breath in here? I was out in the hall and I'm tripping balls. I heard you throw something, where is it? Tim White, are you here? Tim White. Very social shade if it is. Oh, wait, I messed with the door. Hold on. Nah, we didn't get fingerprints. Sometimes when the ghost messes with the door like that, it'll give you fingerprints. Man, it is annoyed. In with me just in case. Ah, I see you've made it cold here. Shall return. Man, why is this place creepier with the lights on? I really gotta switch back to level two dots. This one kind of sucks, to be honest. Jim White, are you here? Actually, no. We we'll keep the lights off because we still need to. Oh, it's writing in the book. Wonderful. I get the feeling it's a wraith, because it still hasn't stepped in the salt. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? Do you know the muffin man? Oh wait, it did step in the salt. So it's not a wraith. Okay, that's concerning. However, it doesn't look like we have UV. Are you here? Can I switch to this room? Yes, freezing. So it's a Revenant, a Shade, or a Maroi. If it's a Maroi, it would have tried to curse me by now. I think it might actually be a Shade on this one. I would have seen Ghost Orbs by now. Dots aren't even possible. Yeah, there should be ghost orbs in the room if it was a revenant. You really rang the bell when I was in the other room? Still just an EMF 2. Tim, if you don't show up, I'm going to go in the van and take meds. 
Now's your chance to speak to me, Tim. Tim, are you here? Tim seems like a little wimp. I am doing astonishingly well on Sanity. Why did I bring the whole van again? Hmm. I guess this is from the other night when Maddie and I were playing with randos. Good news, Tim. I didn't need to do drugs. You haven't driven me to insanity yet. Oh yeah, here's one of the wishes you can get if you have the monkey's paw. Show up in your notebook once you grab it. Alright, Tim, now's your chance. You got a whole audience here. Me and, like, any other dead person who watches my YouTube channel, whatever. At a 15 there. You were trying to speak, weren't you? Tim, buddy, where are you? Tim. I see you're reading a dictionary. You are... What? Why did it cut off like that? Eh, whatever. You know, I gotta say, Tim, your afterlife kinda sucks. This ain't exactly the best place to be haunting. Man, I can't open any of these things. I can turn on the desk lamp, though. Does this annoy you, Tim? I think Tim's a shade. I think it's safe to say he's a shade. Because he's a wimp. Could be a Maroi. I could have just cursed myself there. I want to risk it for the biscuit. Purely because. Purely because of listening on the parabolic. So, for those of you watching at home who haven't seen the video on it, if, uh, a Maroi, if you hear it or you ask it the question on Spirit Box and it responds, or you hear it on the Parabolic mic, it will curse you. Or you'll lose sanity even in the light. I think we'll leave the fingerprint one. We'll, we'll grab the rest of it right now. But uh, EMF is good for finding the room and so is the, uh, the temp. Joseph, are you here? Joseph Craft. It's significantly colder in this section right here. And I'm seeing my breath right here. I guess Joseph Kraft is right here then. Well, there's the skull. Like line it up, but hey. I thought I just heard it mess with the tent. Oh, it's not a gin. Or in that direction, but I didn't even see where. I don't see ghost orbs anywhere here. Are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? You want a beer? We got a root beer right here. United States, 1993. Belgium, 1947. England, 1951. Russell's 1955. EMF5. Interesting. Are you here? Where are you? Oh, you've been hucking stuff all over the place, haven't you? you Want to give me a sign? I don't think the guitar leaves fingerprints. Really? When I don't have my camera... Oh, you're hunting now? Oh, no, you're not. Doi. Shadow. Yeah, I don't think it's an Oni. I'd have lost more sanity on that. I went in with, like, 80-something, so before the event, I had to have been around 70-ish. Oh, wonderful. We need to get more parabolic mic sounds. My major concern is that it's a Raiju, and I can't see ghost orbs because, uh... Well, it's hard to see with all that. Are you here? You want to try walking through the salt? Maybe show up on dots? Did it switch rooms? I think freezing is one of its evidences. Usually if it gets below one degree, it's gonna end up being freezing. 
Oh, just a little bit more and we got freezing, buddy. Of course you do that when I don't have the photo cam on me. Dude! This thing is just eventing after eventing after event. What the frick? Also, we had Spirit Box. And I think it's the twins. We were getting very close to freezing temps there. And it stepped in salt, so it can't be the Wraith. Okay, thank you for that. The other thing about this game mode is it's better for just trying to quickly identify the ghost. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. I see 12,000, yeah, 1,245. And all we did was really just identify the ghost and do some extra stuff. Alright, I haven't died tonight. Let's do Bleasdale. Somebody always dies at Bleasdale. I'm ignoring photos for this one. I am back. I'm astonished. I was gone for like 15, 20 minutes and the ghost didn't kill the power or anything. Probably switch rooms though, so my initial burst is probably useless now. Oh yeah, 18 degrees. It's definitely not here anymore. Isn't here. Oh. I'm grabbing the cruise scene case to demon, then I'm gonna grab the video to look for orbs and the book. Is it any colder here? Nope. Oh you left fingerprints. Unfortunately, both Mimic and Demon. Are you here? I'm gonna try and do this with the lights on. Are you here? Where are you? You know the Muffin Man. Where are you? Are you here? Give me a sign. Okay, we got another uh, fingerprint EMF3. Two. Are you here? Getting attacked. Oh. That explains it. Okay. So, I don't think it's a mimic because we would have seen ghost orbs. Uh, at least I feel like I would have. I think it might be a poltergeist. How much it's hucking stuff. Should have brought a photo cam up with me. Say we can turn this off, but it'll help uh, me keep an eye on if it's hunting or not, or if it uh, burns the crucifix if I'm out of the room for whatever reason. With how much stuff is out of place, I want to guess Poltergeist if I were doing limited evidence. But we can't get the third evidence in this game mode, so...
same time, trying to get dots is really difficult. With the new dots uh, projector. When you walk through dots, thanks for opening a door again. Can you walk through dots? Can you write in the book? If I move the book out, will you write in it? Change rooms again. No. So at this juncture, there's only a couple things I can really do to figure out what it is. I don't have another book. I can sit in there and wait for an event, try to get a photo of it. If it shows up on the film, it's a phantom. Try to wait for it to show up on the dots and get phantom, or I can just sit there and antagonize until it writes in the book. Unfortunately, I don't think any of those are particularly likely, so this sucks. Poltergeist to phantom is always a pain in the backside to figure out. At least mimic, you see ghost orbs and you're like, oh, it's it's a mimic. I really should have brought in the level 2 dots as well instead of the level 3. It's a phantom. So, if we go in the photos, it says ghost, but there's virtually no distortion. It doesn't even show up. That's got to be a phantom. We go three for three, zero deaths. That was an interesting night. Hopefully, that was entertaining. I don't usually do solo hunts that much just because I personally think it's funnier whenever I'm hanging out with my friends. But I figured I'd try solo for once, see if anybody likes that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy haunting.